What's going on, everybody? So I was going to go to a card show tomorrow. There's two actually in my area, either uh, Lexington, Kentucky, or Salem, Indiana. I know Salem, Indiana is in a bigger venue, different spot and stuff, but picked up a lot today. And I'm going to go through because I usually don't share a lot of this stuff at all um, in the videos. And I know some of you guys might like this stuff. I'm not gonna like go through every single card because then we'd be here for a very very long video there was a lot of stuff for my value boxes i'm gonna say 98 percent of this will go to com c there are a few cards i gotta look at i might grade just to try to maximize some return onto this but again i've been looking for a lot of stuff for com c i know that if i went to a card show i probably wouldn't have came back with this volume regardless of where i went and if I did, I probably would have paid a little bit more than I did on this deal here. So, you guys ready to see some different stuff here for a change? Alright, let's go through. Not me knocking anything over. So, just some cool different things on to here. Now, though, you might see stickers on this stuff. Don't mind the stickers. They're not close. The guy just put them in top loaders for me as he mailed the box out. But there's some soccer in here like Mbappe, Mendez, Marvin Jones, Rookie... Never even heard of Smith Marset, to be honest. How many people remember Wayne Gallman? This will bring back some ties to Wildcat. There's plenty of football in here, so I'm gonna tell you now, you might as well go ahead and sit back, get some food, um, something to drink. You know, tell a wife, kids, hey, you gotta give him about 20 minutes. He has a lot of cards. Let's see here. There's some baseball, Flaherty rookie, Dunham. And for anybody who comes to the value box, Sutton, uh, today was a lot of soccer for the value boxes, I will tell you that. A lot of this stuff really cheap, surprising in the prices, but like I said, it helps build the inventory up for Com C. A lot of Leaf stuff. And the Leaf stuff, some of it surprised me. And we'll talk about a little bit when I get to it. Rondale Moore out of 60. I was thinking this would be a bigger card. What was I wrong? I know it's absolute. This is one I want to talk about. Michael Carter. A lot of people are real big on him at one time. This card is so cheap right now, it's not even funny. Uh, i read some of the names here. Neymar. I'm going to try. Brian. Yeah, Brian Edwards. I almost said Byron. A lot of cool stuff, and we'll get to it all, though. Zach Ertz, score rookie. Things are cheap. It's numbered out 99, too. It's the hot rookies. I know there was different ones during that year. Ooh. Josh Palmer. Hassel, how he has fallen in price. Brett Rooker. There's a name I haven't seen in a long time. I remember he came out with Royce Lewis, and if you get the Twins, you were getting a good chance to hit either of them. Van Dyke. I'm going to try. Another Josh Palmer. C.J. Abrams, another guy that really fell down. These are out of 10. Guy had three of them. Three out of 10. Uh, Rashad Penny. Somebody named Curry. Calvin Austin. Numbered out of four. Boy, those cheap from Pro Set. I just figured they were going to be up a little bit in price. I was way off. Way, way, way off. All right. I got to stack stuff here. So whenever I start doing Com C boxes here in a little bit, stuff's kind of where I want to go in which box. So bear with me. Got a lot of stuff. Another Michael Carter. Like I said, boy, is he falling down. JD Martinez, baseball. Tannehill Auto from Playbook. Von Bell, rookie. Auto Pat Fryer move. This is a rookie. Boy, is this stuff really dipped down? I know it's either Calvin Austin. There's a lot of Calvin Austins in this. Another Rondell Moore. This one's out of 199. Trey McBride, rookie auto absolute. Skylar Thompson, select. Probably won't ever play. Uh, Jalen Rager, NT. Ton of Trayvon Walker stuff. It was really, really cheap. Huh. Bruhan. 
die cut. Put that one in this stack here. Uh, go to this stack here next. Elijah Moore. I think it was Elijah Moore. Yep. Tom Savage. Soderstrom. Nick Gonzalez. Mike York. These were really cheap. I guess they were really plentiful, the Genesis, for soccer. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. What do we got here? Is that Davis Mills? Yeah, Davis Mills. Boy, is the mighty fallen. Ian Book. The funny part is you never know. One of these guys starts starting one day and they sell. Very quick. Everybody hurries up and humps on that bandwagon. Uh, Connor Haywood. Dealer. Another Calvin Austin. Keem Butler, Whiteside, Jersey Fusion. Believe it or not, this was really cheap. It was like a $2 card. Air Strong Auto. How do Hunter Renfro's you will see as well? All right, let me grab this stack. Don't worry, just these stacks. The stuff up here is uh, stuff I'm moving tonight during a Zoom. More Calvin Austin. Boy, if that boy gets some playing time, tell you what. Uh, Corey Davis Auto, Timo Warner. I'll tell you what, some of the league stuff had some value. I was surprised. Another Calvin Austin, another Josh Palmer. Let me get this focused again. Kind of with the light and stuff on these. India. There we go. Just a card. Um, Dayami Brown. He had a lot of Dayami Browns, too. You'll start seeing them popping up here. I think it's Kellen Mond. Pretty sure. CJ Williams, 101 printing plate. Very cheap. We're getting a little bit better stuff coming up here. Let me just get these stacked in my hand properly so we can see. This is Houston and Bethea Auto Auto. Morley Valiant. Hellenic Auto. Uh, Finley Auto. Andy Isabella. Bagley Silver Prism Rookie Auto. Uh, This that Trayvon again. Yeah, another Trayvon. Another Dayami. The more of the better stuff out of the bunch, where some of this stuff may go off to be graded. Um, if I can get it back in time, if it makes sense. I gotta try moving stacks here again. So Mr. Welsh. Gold Shimmer. It's, it's just relatively cheap, and it's just stuff I might end up grading. Some of it was really surprised me. You know, Slaughter Rookie, or Rookie, I mean, Auto. <laughs> Jason Taylor Auto from SP Signature Edition. Two Nico Collins Rookies. Sean Alexander Auto. Shazier Rookie Auto. Oh, more Leaf Metals. Somewhere here is a guy named Cunningham. I just probably probably already went through it. I guess he had a lot of attention at one time frame. Irv Smith Jr. Who is this? Is that Schwartz? Yeah, it's Schwartz. So just a lot of stuff for inventory for Com C. Some of it will be, you know, gradable and stuff like that. We'll take a look at just this stack here mostly to go to be graded. Uh, rest of this stuff will, like I said, will be boxed up for Com C to go on to it. Uh, to keep building the inventory on Com C. Uh, hockey, <laughs> you know, has been the key on there right now for me, mostly due to the fact I had a lot of hockey from Upper Deck E Pack onto it. So, really, really good deal on all this stuff, you know. Pick it up, try to move stuff with it. 
a lot of stuff for the 50 cent value boxes. So next show you guys hear me say I'm set up at, trust me, there's going to be value box heavy. I want to say right now I'm sitting at like eight or nine boxes. And I'm going to say one, two, I think three are brand new of the uh, well, the four row boxes. So a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. I got a lot coming in the mail. It's just the mail has been slow, so there's no real mail day video. I figure I'd show this off just for something different into a video. Like I said, there was a lot more of other stuff. I just didn't want to bore you guys completely with, you know, a whole bunch of value soccer stuff and uh, uh, stuff it sells for like a buck and a quarter to a buck seventy five, stuff like that there that... You know, I, I'm picking up, taking stabs at just to throw on to Com C. And I'll be honest, a lot of cheaper stuff for me has been moving between the, uh, I'd say, buck twenty-five to four to five dollar range. A lot. You guys see that video once it comes out in March, how things are moving along. They have a lot of my stuff there. We'll be waiting to get in just like this stuff. I probably won't expect to see it for two, three months down the road. To, you know, probably get about 50-60% of it listed onto there. But the goal is, like I said, by the end of the year, hopefully we get up above the 5,000 cards, have something that's fluid. Uh, for me, to be successful, I'd be saying selling around four or 500 dollars a month, which, you know, would be somewhere in the neighborhood of $4,800 to $6,000 a year. Uh, and then we just keep on progressing through it. And a lot of this stuff, I'm, my plan is when I'm getting this stuff here, I, in case you're new to watching the videos, is to be able to buy, you know, bigger cards out of stuff like this of being picked up. And it, it kind of slows down my pace of always going to shows and spending, you know, 2000 here, 3000 here, $1,200 to just show on these cards or this card. So in return, it's doing a lot more work onto smaller stuff like this. It's not as easily sold. And getting that stuff sold, taking the profit ranges there versus elsewhere. And the other thought process in my head is this. I think I can word this. Basically, there's more risk involved whenever you buy a bigger card. Now, Grant, I'm not talking about Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Mantles, even though those could go down. But we're going to use, you know, going out and buying a Herbert Auto or Wemby Auto, stuff like that. There's big risk because those guys are still pretty active and they could see significant drops where this stuff here may drop. But overall percentage of money wise, it won't drop as bad as some of that bigger stuff. So I'm hoping it plays out right with the way I have my thought process going i could be wrong you guys could always tell me in the chat like always or hit me up on message but yeah we'll, we'll see how this goes uh giving calm see a full year of stocking it up and so far i've been pretty satisfied on it no they're not a sponsor or paid whatever you call it i like to pump them up uh, for their advertisements or nothing like that. It's just I know a couple people that have huge inventories and do very, very well on to it per month. And I figure, you know, instead of taking this stuff, sending it on to consignment, making less onto it there, I can make more onto Com C actually with it in return buying better, bigger cards to where I could sell those if I wanted to down the road. So hopefully that makes sense. Just I'm doing a different route to getting the bigger cards. All right, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. That's all I got. Try to keep it under 15. Other than that, catch you guys next video.